started going to church seriously in high school. So this is all very new to me, and I was really looking for some direction in my life. It was really like a step of faith for me to go out on, on the field. I remember I had just completely zoned out. I avoided my family. Um, things were just going really bad. Before walking in the doors, I was just like, God, this is it. Either something's going to happen this weekend, or I'm just going to lose it. I'm going to lose all hope. I was just to that point where I knew it was right, I knew it was wrong, and I just didn't care. I wanted to follow Jesus. I wanted to read the Word, but there was parts of me that still wanted the things that were not biblical. So Teen Mania, our passion is reaching young people, discipling them, getting on fire for God so that they will passionately pursue Jesus the rest of their life. We, we truly believe in provoking a young generation to passionately pursue Jesus Christ and to make Him the center of their lives. We really are a parachurch organization working with the church and for the church to help the church be more successful in their ministry to young people. I brought a couple of youth that we're very worried about. Being here, you see the change in their life. You, you, you see them crying, you see them writing down the, the problems and just, just giving it to God. And after we leave here, you hear them talk about the occasion, this affair here. So you know there is a change. When they had the altar call, there was a ton of youth that, that really just, you could see, had this hunger. Uh, that, that they hadn't seen before, especially in my youth group. It's an amazing experience when you see God uh, come and, and really um, love on His His children. So I remember this event, it, everyone was excited, and I remember I really didn't want to go. I never thought of myself as ever going on a mission trip, and I, I didn't want to go. Getting straight A's and having a 4.0 GPA was not enough for me. I just knew I wanted to impact people and I wanted to do missions. I wanted to be one of those leaders. I wanted to have an impact. I wanted to influence my culture. I wanted to go somewhere before college, um, just, just get grounded in my faith. People come and live right here for a year in Garden Valley, Texas on our campus. And really our goal and our heart is to raise them up to be change makers, to be influencers, whether they're in government or entertainment or education or whatever area, that they are sharing their faith and demonstrating that they believe in Christ and that they want to make a difference and they want to be the leaders, leading with a godly moral conviction. Like a typical high school student, I really didn't have much direction. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I needed some, some purpose. I needed a plan. So you heard about this program called the Honor Academy. I had a friend who knew I was a Christian. I remember sitting here with her at lunch in high school. I was telling her about how I was a Christian, and she, she goes, Baha! You know, and I was like, what? She goes, you say you're a Christian, but my life is better than yours. Come now, I will take you as you are. I was so tired of being lukewarm. I was so tired of just living from day to day and not really receiving anything and not having a, a, a passionate life. We come here with that drive just to know God and to know what He has for us. I had made a decision, and my decision was to know Jesus. Please come back I had been involved in my church, I had grown up in my church, um, but just spiritually, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't all there. I wasn't, I wasn't spiritual. I, it wasn't real for me. We call our conferences Acquire the Fire. They start Friday night, they're all day Saturday, and end on Saturday night. And this is a weekend event to help young people get on fire for God, bring their friends so their friends can come to Christ. And then we give them tools to learn how to live pure and holy, love the Bible. I remember his message was on just dealing with issues that you may have that are deep issues and you don't even know why you have them. And so I, I, I was just listening to this and I was like, this, this guy is talking to me. Jesus, it was real, it wasn't just a concert. It, it, was, it was a meeting with God, it was an encounter with God. And I got to encounter it. Fire the Fire doesn't beat around the bush. They tell it like it is, and they don't like water things down. It was like amazing how he talked about the Bible being like a love letter from God. I didn't really read my Bible before. Once you start reading it, you just can't put it down, and you just go deeper and deeper, and you just 
feel that spiritual hunger like where you have to get with God in the morning and have to get with God at night and so I think it was good, it was great how we talked about that. At every ATF I always get this huge presence of God, I can feel God's presence and it really changes my heart and I get a huge hunger to know God more. It was during that first night that I really encountered God, I remember worship coming in, I just got on my knees and I just cried out to God for the first time. I had a hunger to serve people. I remember my mission statement was love God, love people. Here we learn the elements of being a world changer and how it starts with you just being transformed by Jesus and then with that being brought into your own life, how you can just reach out to others. I actually got the opportunity to go to an event and I watched these teenagers, their lives get wrecked from the Lord and they're on their face weeping and I'm really impacting a generation because look at what's happening. God is moving and God is here and God is present. I work in the ATF call center. That's what our job was. It was helping the youth pastors, but until you actually do that, you don't really take into perspective the impact that you do have. I was in a place to where I could hear God almost loving them. Just the, just the relief in their voice, it just, it takes your breath away. It's, it's almost like a, wow, that person, just got something that they've been praying for for a long time and God used me to give it to them. My ministry position was a GE caller. I realized that that was my first pulpit and I remember talking to teenagers and praying with them and encouraging them to go on mission trip. A certain conversation I had with them like changed their life and I remember after being a GE caller and realizing God has given me a gift to speak now that I'm a nurse. I still use my gift to speak. You know, I work in the ICU and you have parents that, you know, something tragic happens to their kids and I feel like God opens doors for me to just give them words of comfort. So it all started there. I got it. I knew my words could impact someone. I was on the 1040 mixer, which went to Nepal for a month and India for a month. We have the global expeditions and mission trips where young people some 67,000 of them have come on trips with us all around the world. We're teaching them to share their faith and our goal is that every single kid gets to lead someone to Jesus. And it was really a homebody. I never thought of myself as ever going on a mission trip. I was scared to death, to get on my first airplane and go overseas. Shine the light of Jesus It was actually the first person I ever led to the Lord. Her name was Siti. She was 19 years old and she had listened to our drama and I went up to her and I just I just felt drawn to her and she's like prayer, you know, I need prayer. At that time she started crying and she gave her life to the Lord. And in that moment, like I, I will never be the same because of that one 19 year old girl. I, I smiled so much. I, I think I went to sleep smiling. I was so happy. Every time I come, I see a brand new miracle. I see something that I've never seen before. It was on that trip that I found out that God was actually real. I saw him move in a real way. So I continually come back because the Lord is moving on these trips. The Honor Academy cultivates a place a protected, safe environment for people who seriously want to know God. I came to the Honor Academy because um, I wanted to get more grounded in my faith and have a solid biblical foundation. And that definitely happened my first year. I decided um, to stay a second year because I really wanted to do the ministry team. Everything was going great. I was in the drama. Um, we'd just done a couple events and we'd come back to campus to sort of rework some stuff in the drama and um, I just started not to care anymore. I just made choices that I shouldn't have, knowingly, like knowing that it was wrong, knowing that there would be consequences. We come to the Honor Academy in the very, very, very beginning, it's laid out for us. It's like, you do this, 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 and this, you're gonna get dismissed. So I left Teen Mania and, and there, were, there were some people that, that hurt me really bad. I've been where you are and then some exactly what you're feeling. I knew that I didn't want to say, oh, woe is me, be the victim, and 
and make everybody feel sorry for me because I made the choice that led to this dismissal. So I went back to visit for two weeks and that eventually became way longer than two weeks. I was able to talk to certain people in leadership um, and they were able to answer my questions and um, there was forgiveness. It wasn't like, oh, well, you got dismissed. You shouldn't be here. It was like, welcome back. Like, we're really excited to see you and I'm so sorry for the way that this went down and I'm sorry for those who made you feel that way. And um, we love you. I did feel valued and I did realize like, you know, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you move forward. We believe in a triune God. We believe that Jesus, his son, came to earth lived a sinless life, died on the cross, was raised from the dead, and makes mediation for us in heaven. We believe that those who commit their lives to Christ and make Him the Lord of their life will be eternally rewarded. And those who choose not to do that will be separated eternally from God. We, we are guided by some core values that we have selected from the Word of God. And, and those core values drive our decisions and the ways that we interact with young people. We base our decisions on faith and integrity and on relationships, vision, and excellence. While I was at the Honor Academy, I learned about right and wrong. I can't tell you how many times I heard from leadership, do not take my word for it, go and check it out yourself. And at times when the rules were hard, it was no price to pay for what I wanted to get out of that place. And that was knowing God, knowing what God wanted me to do with my life, and just having that fruit in my life, and it worked. The Honor Academy has taught me how to seek the Lord, knowing that He loves me more than I could ever know. After going through that year, that is one of the biggest things that I learned was not to give up, to never give up, and to persevere and to keep going. What I've learned from not just that though, from this experience altogether, is that like, we don't get our strength through ourselves, but through Christ, and we have to learn to trust in Him. It helps everyone learn a lesson. I've learned many things about myself, about being a leader, and about having a team under you. So the Honor Academy has these experiences, they're, they're retreats, and they last one, two, sometimes three days. Specifically, ESOL was one that really stood with me. ESOL is a very controlled environment. Uh, you have you have medical people there, you have EMTs, you have the staff that are constantly asking you, are you okay? And at any time, you can ring this bell and leave. You can stop. ESOL was a very positive and uh, uh, very lasting um, experience where I could take the, uh, the idea that if you get pushed down, you're going to get back up. As an Honor Academy staff member, we love the feedback of our interns. Absolutely love it. We have surveys that go out every month where there's open-ended questions where interns get to make whatever comment they want. Weekly, we have a class where they're just able to ask questions. They can always approach staff members, email, and I can tell you this, being on staff at the Honor Academy, many, many decisions are a direct result of intern or participant feedback. We've improved greatly over the years, and a lot of that improvement is specifically a result of the feedback that we've got from interns, youth pastors, local church members, basically saying, hey, what if you guys tried this? What if you did it this way instead? Hey, did you ever think about this? And so uh, Teen Mania is constantly growing, constantly changing because of the feedback that we get. So for these 25 years of ministry here at Team Mania, we've been so blessed by God. So many people have, have rallied and partnered with us, whether that's donors and sponsors of kids on mission trips, people that have helped us get these grounds and build these buildings. And, and really, all the money that we take in at Team Mania is turned right back around and invested in reaching and developing young people into world changers for God. And so we're a nonprofit organization and we feel so blessed that every dollar we get, we're able to invest right back in and rescue young people and be a part of what God's doing among this young generation here in America and around the world. While I was there, the Honor Academy really just gave me a good foundation. God did a lot of healing in my heart while I was there and just showed me that I could be a leader and just gave me the confidence to step out in leadership and just see that I can make a difference in this generation. The Honor Academy definitely was that wake up call. It was just like um, him just calling me, just like calling me into his presence and calling me to just love him and allow him to love me so that he can love through me. Since I've come to the Honor Academy, it's definitely gone a lot deeper. Um, finding ways to seek God and become more passionate with Him. I had no idea that 
that when I took that step of obedience that the Lord was just going to submerge me and just the depths of his heart and just take me to depths that I never could have imagined. We, we challenge young people to pursue God based on what we read in the Bible and what is true in the authoritative word of God, regardless of what is politically correct at the time or which way the cultural winds are blowing. So having a, a passionate Christianity can be a little bit unusual. It's not the most popular thing. And we know that because of that, it being a little unusual, that can also be misunderstood. But ultimately, our heart's motive is we love God. We love Jesus. We love the Bible. In the end, we are committed to giving young people who want to grow in Christ, who want to grow spiritually, a chance to do exactly that. We invite them to come to East Texas, surrounded by rustic towns, enveloped in country weather. And we go and we minister in nearly every large city in America. And week after week, we see the broken, disillusioned, and hurting teenagers face to face. And we, even though we live in rural America, we are privileged and honored that we get to bring the hope of the gospel to teenagers across this nation. Some of the best friends of my life, I met them at the Honor Academy. People say, oh, you had, a, you had an experience at the Honor Academy, and it sounds like you moved on from it. Well, I didn't move on from the Honor Academy. I built on that. After the things I saw and the emotions that I felt and just, you know, got like constantly working in you, um, I could never see myself living in a normal American life anymore. I do appreciate Team Mania and the role that it's played in my life, and I'll never forget it. It's been the biggest part of my life right now. I've been blessed over the years to watch youth groups come to acquire the fire and see teenagers have their eyes open to who God is and be excited and passionate about the Lord. Then take that passion. Many of them go on trips with us overseas through global expeditions. I've heard the testimonies of those who have had their lives changed through Acquire the Fire television all over the world. And in the Honor Academy, I've had the opportunity to see young people come here and have their lives changed over the course of a year in a way that impacts them for the rest of their lives. Our heartbeat is these 33 million young, young people in America, we want to reach them, we want to disciple them, we want to see them on fire for God, and we want to take his life-changing gospel, life-giving message to the ends of the earth, and we're going to equip them to do that. Whenever someone asks me, what organization is making the greatest impact upon students in the United States, my answer is teen mania. But I believe that Ron has the most significant, in terms of impact, calling to young people in America. I get to see it a step away, and it's remarkable. And I have seen it with my own eyes during my visit there uh, at your headquarters, and then young people that went with us to India, and uh, how so many of their lives are so radically changed, and they continue to walk with the Lord. I just want to thank God here publicly for Teen Mania, for Honor Academy, and Acquire the Fire conferences. We're just grateful. You can see something that is distinguished about these young men and women. They're yep. free. They're hungry for God. And they're hard They're workers. compassionate. Yes, they have a missions mindset where they want to actually help. They have a heart for social justice. And I see them all and, throughout the world. And they stand out because they're making a difference in their church. They're making a difference in their community or even in their country. And just to see the volunteers at work and all of those interns and co-workers that you have that are sharing Christ and doing it on a daily basis and doing it with uh, high octane, high excited, dedicated commitment to Christ. Over the last few years, many, many kids from Hope Christian Church in the Washington DC area have gone to Teen Mania. They've come back passioned. They've come back grounded in the Word of God and they have been living for Christ. And I know that God's got an incredible plan for what all that is taking place there and what is going on through the Teen Mania ministry.